what I'm doing now is I'm just gonna mix. I'm not doing a full replacement with the banana and the pumpkin unless I wanted to split it, make two different batches. So I'm just doing a partial. So I'm still gonna mix my lye and water one to one just to get it mixed. And then I'm gonna add 125 grams of pumpkin later and 125 grams of banana. And so what you wanna do is just make sure that you go the one-to-one, -one, maybe a little bit more water than lye, just to make sure it's all mixed well. So then my lye is just gonna be 208. You always go over on your water, just don't ever go over on your lye. Get on my gloves and everything. I already added my cocoa, or I already melted my cocoa, coconut oil, lard, cocoa butter, and shea. So now I'm adding my olive and my castor oil. Now I'm gonna put my pumpkin and my banana in here. You can use your own pumpkin, just bake it and make a puree. So 125. So I went up to 130. We'll just stay at that. And that really isn't that much. Hopefully, hopefully it gives enough color with that. One gram ain't gonna matter, so 130. And my banana I had in the freezer. Actually, it's two bananas, and they just kinda, I ground them up a little bit. Ooh, I hope I have enough. This one might be scraping. So two bananas weighs about 125. It's about perfect. And I guess if you're a little bit short, just add the water. Nope, I'm a little bit over. Um, so this banana, I was told to use a really ripe banana, throw it in the freezer and then unpeel it. So that's what I did.
So you don't want to add your clove essential oil or a lot of the spices, ginger. Um, they will speed up trays, so just gonna add them as I pour them. And that should be, it's almost a banana yellow, if I did it right. Clumping up pretty good. So, just want to make sure you get it mixed up good. And I might pour this pumpkin first. Just mix it. I'll put the. Maybe I'll mix it first and then I'll add the EO. And once you add the clove, it's going to set up quick and then you can pour your second layer. I got all the clumps out. <laughs> Looks like I did. Okay, it's starting to set up. So, I my this little Bella, I buy it off Amazon for 20 23 bucks. It has some power. So, I'm used to my old hand mixer which were KitchenAids. And then I had another brand that was junk that I bought. And I paid the most for that one. And um, anyway, you just gotta be careful with it because I get a little carried away. So it's already pre-setting up and it's pretty warm already. So I'm gonna add part of my essential oil and get that mixed in there. I might not be able to do two layers. Might just have to get it in the mold. Setting up pretty quick. So. Get it in there. I don't know if I'm able to get straight lines on this because it's pretty set up. I'll still put a pencil line in, but not. it's not gonna be straight. gonna make it rough and hope that um, hope that there's no air bubbles I don't think I want to smack it too hard okay then I'm gonna take some cocoa powder and make a pencil line make sure that's still So I'm using a mesh strainer, that way you don't get too carried away. You make your line, pencil lines too thick, uh, the soap will separate where you have the pencil line. Okay, so then I'm gonna add the essential oil to the second part. And I probably shouldn't have used my blender, but 
I don't know how else I would have got that pumpkin to uh, blend up, so. It's still fine, it's just not a straight line. And whenever you're pouring a second layer, just say this is a kind of soft, you're gonna want to pour it to where it's not soaking through. Put some support on your spatula. I'm gonna show you here in a minute. And that's not even, I'm gonna hit this with the blender. take much for it to start setting up. They like said that little Bella blender is sets up quick. Okay, I'm gonna get this layer on. So I'm just breaking the support. I put my spatula underneath. And this is setting up quick with that clove. You can see it. So it's just a playing card. So you're gonna wanna keep an eye on this and make sure it doesn't get too hot. If it, once it fully gels, you can put it in a cool place to finish. I know if I just cover it up and right now it's really hot outside, hotter than we're above average by, I don't know what, but it's been in the 90s all week. So I'm just gonna sit here, I'm gonna cover it up. I'm gonna start doing my dishes. Might cover it up, I'm just gonna kinda watch it cause it's actually warmed up since I added all this. It's at 115 right now, 116. So it's definitely gonna get warm with that clove and the pumpkin, maybe the banana in there. So I can see it bubbling up already. So it's definitely getting hot inside there. And I just want it to gel. 